get you warmed up for stub up and today's great workout. We're gonna start gentle, move to upper body, hit the lower body, finish with some good practice rounds, and get you rocking. Here's what we got to start. 10 perfect stretches, followed by five yoga push-ups, followed by five inch runs, followed by a 20 second bottomless squat hold. Then we're gonna go into two sets of 10 seconds of power hold and six, six thoracic rotations in the bottomless squat. Let's get into it. So that big perfect stretch. Nice giant lunge forward, hands come down by a foot, elbow chest drops in there, big rotation toward that front leg, and then back on the hamstring there, alternating through all 10 reps, hitting five on each side. Yoga push ups. Down on the ground, find the push up position, lower yourself down, press in the up dog, rock yourself back and down to the trying to push those heels into the ground. You might get this by now, no big deal either way. And then back and through there. Next, finding those inchworms. Again, legs are always long here. Straight legs. A lot of you want to bend the knees. That just works our quads. The quads are already open and they don't need to be open in this angle. You know, open them in other ways. So, I'm going to think straight legs, wider is better for most of us. Walk up on our hands as far as we can and then walk back up to stand. Okay, you can go forward and back if you want to, if you got the space. Next, that squat hold. So sitting in the bottom of a squat, just sitting down, hanging out here, stretching, opening up, bringing the chest up, sitting active in there, squatting down there, real nice. All right, from there, we have our hollow hold and our thoracic rotations. So, we're down on the ground, hollow hold nice and tight. Again, we can go bent knee here, but we want to sit that low back, move to the ground. Nice tight body there. The rest of the rotation is you can cheat with a little weight or just squat down, hold underneath your toe, rotate to the ceiling, rotate to the ceiling there. Weight can kind of help you rotate if you want to there. All right, that's your general warm up. Now in the upper body. We have our hug sequence and our arm throw down sequence. Again, vertical and horizontal on the hugs, and throwing it down. Then 10 shoulder tap push ups, 20 second overhead hold on one side. 10 scat push ups, 20 seconds overhead hold on the other side. Then 10 windmills. I'm going to go into a press curl series. So, 8 curls on each arm, 8 presses on each arm, 8 swings on each arm, 8 muscle snatches. All right, let's get into it. Remember, hugs, pinching our shoulder blades back together, hands going just past our back, alternating up and down. Then that good hinge over. Same thing there. Nice big swing in the arms, up and down. Then our throwdowns, again, imagine you have a ball, you take it behind your head, throw it down the ground, just like that. Boom. Then into our shoulder tap push-ups. So we're down in push-up position. No body English here. Squeezing everything tight. Tap, back and forth like so. Nice and smooth there. Then grab the object, squeeze everything down, press it up overhead, hold nice and strong. Okay, 20 seconds there. Then we're getting into scat push ups. Back on the ground. Here, pinching our shoulder blades back and down, pressing up, back and down, pressing up, just like that. From there, we're getting into that overhead hold again. Whew. Pressing up, hold, nice and smooth. Boom. Now, into this movement here, trying to warm up the body. So we have our curls, eight on each arm. Again, all the way up. All the way open and down. Make sure that elbow pit opens up. There. Boom. Eight. Done there. Then on the same. Then do the same on the other arm. Then we're into our strict presses. So here, pushing up. Going from shoulder up. Make sure that shoulder initiates bringing you down. You don't just cock that elbow back and do a tricep extension there. Then we have our one arm swing. Boom. There. Back, squeeze and stand up. Then our one arm muscle snatch. So no hinge, just standing tall, pull it right up the body and over. Right up the body and over. Okay? Right up the body and over. Alright, squeeze it and stand tall. Boom. Then we get into our legs. And this is where we add the snatches, we add the squats, rock and rolling. So we're gonna do 10 one arm snatches from the head. Then five air squats, 10 power snatches from the floor. Then five goblet squats, 10 one arm snatches. 
five more goblet squats, and then 10 one-arm swings. Here on our hang power snatches, we use that hinge a bit more. Pull, jump catch, and then pull, jump catch right there. Split those up, five and five on each hand. Then we'll get into our air squats. So set the weight down, find a position, sit down, stand up, nice and smooth there. From there, we get back into it, but we're going from the ground here, up overhead, and then use that dip and drive, get it up there. Then we'll rock that goblet squat, right on the chin, by there, up and down, nice and smooth. Then, again with that, but now let's alternate those power snatches. So from the ground, up overhead, switching every single time. There, boom, one arm swing, squeeze in, stand up, just like that. And you already saw the goblet squat, that was before that, okay? Then we get into our practice rounds. Here, we're looking at one round, and then a second round. First round is lighter weight, kind of just prepping the movements, getting them feel for them. You're going sixes of all four movements, so tuck up, alternating dumbbell snatch, one arm swing and goblet squat. Then, same thing again in the next one, but this time we're looking for the workout weight. Test it. If that four is really challenging in the practice rounds, you need to scale the weight back. Should be super easy for you as you move through those warm up rounds. All right, gang, have fun with this workout. Get after it. Should be a great one for you. Take care.